Hi, I'm David from Red Fang and I play guitar. First time I saw an arm jam that I can remember was a band called Das Damen sometime in the 90s and it was in a small club and they were really loud, sounded amazing and I remember the guitar player reaching back to his amp, I think it was an OR series amp, an older one, and he turned some switch and then all of a sudden it was like Whoa, even more amazing sounding and uh, I didn't really know much about amps at the time, I was playing guitar but I didn't know a lot about amps but it just sounded amazing and the, and the orange always stuck in my head and I remembered you know the, the symbols that you guys use for the for the controls but uh, that was the first time probably in the 90s a band called Das Damen and it was blew my mind. What do I look for in terms of an amp? Uh, well I like a nice uh, you know I want everything to be um, articulate I want to hear every everything the low notes and the high notes all at the same time and um, and I'd like some beef to it, some oomph to it. Um, basically that, I like it to be articulate but still have a nice growl. That's kind of it. <laughs> when I first played an orange, well, I probably played a friend's orange or something like that, just messing around, but the first orange I got was a Tiny Terror, the 15 watt, and I love it. And actually on, on our album, uh, Murder the Mountains, uh, the recordings were done with some different amps, but all the overdubs were done with the Tiny Terror. And, uh, but yeah, that was my, the first amp I got. Now I have a Dual Terror, which I love. That's my main amp at home that I practice on. And that now I also have uh, one of these guys, a CR120, which is the newest amp that I'm playing. Because I'm used to uh, solid state amps. We've been using the Sun Beta Leads for years. And not that this is the same, but uh, it sounds awesome, and I'm, you know, I know a lot of people are like, ah, tubes versus solid state. You gotta have tubes, but I think solid state amps can sound amazing, and this definitely sounds amazing. So that's the newest orange that I have. It just ha so happened that our bass player had like three or four beta leads, maybe a beta bass. Anyway, and we all practiced one day. We were like, let's see what it sounds like if we all play the same amp. And so for Red Fang, it's always been the solid state. The solid states are great for traveling because they're rugged, there's no tubes to break, um, but I really love the sound of nice tubes, but, uh, but that's what I love about this. It sounds like a fucking tube amp. It sounds great. So I don't really have a, I like all kinds of amps. I don't have to have solid state. I'm not like no tubes at all, but, uh, but I, I know that a lot of people don't realize that solid state can sound really good. I think, I feel like there's people who are like, ah, oh, it can't be as good as a tube amp, but it definitely can be. I like the orange um, because they have this nice little mid bump. It's just perfect. And I, like I was saying, I like the articulate, so I like a little extra mids. I, I definitely noticed that. Well, to be honest, I don't have a lot of experience with uh, different cabs. Um, and so when I got the oranges, it was like, ah, oh, there it is. It, like, it just, they, they sound great. They're really nice and rugged. It's awesome, and Orange has been great to us. Uh, Orange is like legendary, you know, especially in kind of our, I don't like to put a label on us, but in this sort of stoner rock, dune, whatever, I just consider us hard rock. But uh, yeah, it's great to have, uh, to be representing Orange.